I'm Nick Weiss and today we're talking about some more funk guitar strumming techniques. The song I'm using as an example is Didn't I by Durando. It's a request of a student of mine and uh, I'd never heard it before he brought it in so I just learned it about 20 minutes ago so my apologies if I'm not uh, playing it exactly like the recorded version but uh, we can learn some basic uh, funk strumming concepts from this tune. The chords are B flat major, A minor, and G minor. Uh, you can look elsewhere online uh, to, to find how to play those. They are very basic bar chords. B flat major, A minor, G minor. And the big biggest thing with uh, funk strumming is the right hand uh, never really stops strumming. One E hand, a two E hand, a three E hand, a four E hand. A. In this particular tune, we're talking about a 16th note swing feel. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. If it were a straight sixteenth feel, we would have this one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Straight is even sixteenth notes. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Whereas swing is one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. So it's Long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. One, e, and, a, two, e, and, a. The down pick gets held a little bit longer than the up pick. And uh, very similar to swing eighth notes or straight eighth notes. The right hand generally in funk guitar never stops muting or never stops moving. The left hand, however, either plays a chord, plays a mute, or the right hand misses the strings. So. So even when I was missing some of those strums, my right hand kept moving throughout the pattern. The left hand muting happens by putting your fingers on the string but not pinching them all the way down to the fret. You don't lift, lift them off the guitar either or you hear all the open strings. I, my fingers are on the strings but not pinching all the way down to the fret. And learning how to juxtapose chords with mutes is really important. So if I play the mute, the chord and then lift up quickly, we get this staccato sound, which is another important thing in music. Staccato meaning short and choppy. So I'm playing, and almost immediately after, lifting up without taking my fingers off the strings. And I'm also taking a low high approach. So I'm hitting the low strings first. Low string, high strings, 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 low high, low high, low high, low high, low high, low. And I'm not particularly precise about it. Um, if I were in a Nashville studio, I'd be very precise about what notes I'm hitting on my low chords and in the high chords, but. In funk guitar, uh, a little looseness is, uh, is acceptable. <laughs> so um, those are the main concepts there. Keep the right hand moving. Play some chords, mute some chords, leave space in there. And don't hit all the chords, all, all the strings at once. T hit some of the low strings, hit some of the high strings, hit some of the low strings, hit some of the high strings. Uh, it's really tough to really break down every single movement I'm doing here because there's really so much involved. But if you understand these main concepts and keep working at it, you will eventually get it. So uh, if you have any questions, want to take some lessons, check out nickweissmusic.com, Nick, W-E-I-S-S, music.com. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good one.